Why, hello there, and welcome back to Souls Stream LP. I'm, of course, a game operator and narrator of Souls. Welcome back to the Pegasus Expedition. Oh, what to say. What to say. I don't know what to say. We are apparently about to go to war with the Anoa. What a time to be alive, let me tell you. So, what are we going to do first? Well, first things first. We know the Anoa and the Toe are allies. If this war kicks off, we are going to have a war on two fronts. We need to be ready. So what does ready mean? Well, we're going to want some ability, some way to get from one side of the galaxy to the other. Quick. Because we have a very large piece of territory, and we are sandwiched right between the Anoa and the Toe. <laughs> this is not tactically sound. <laughs> but it is what it is. So, that being said, we are going to... Ah, uh, yeah. We're going to... Take a second here, and just hit the end turn. Roll it on over, see what happens. If war kicks off, we're going to have to roll with it as we go. If it doesn't kick off this turn, we might have enough time to enact what I'm thinking might be a really, really good idea. And what that is, is setting up a supply route from one side of our territory all the way to the other. That way, that'll give us the ability to react and move and disperse fleets very quickly to deal with certain situations as they arise. Now we got AI ship command and control good. Uh, Hanor has its deep mining complex up and running, which is perfect. Uh, Helmus Biomass has been defeated. Another one bites the dust. I'm going to shed a tear over that one. We also have, I believe, we've actually repaired most, if not all of our ships, all of our fleets. All right, that one's undergoing repairs. You need a new flagship. But we're going to focus a little bit on getting these hubs set up. So first thing we need is transit stations, 100%. Uh, we're going to focus on this area of space here being our final destination. And we'll try and focus it. Hmm, we'll be good. Back to our main fleet center would probably be where I would say would be a good spot to have supply hubs running. Yeah, we're not out of resources, it's just not ready. And can we build a transit? We cannot, we do not have enough resources. That's all right. Let the end turn and get this rolling. Now, the one thing with supply hubs is that they take about 2% of our total energy to operate. We have to be extremely careful with this. If we get too many, we can actually drop ourselves into negative energy, and no, it doesn't matter what we do, we will be unable to bring that back up. So I want to try and stick around to 50, maybe 60% max. For energy uses, usage, if I can swing it. If I can. Um, and it would make a whole lot more sense just to immediately cut right across here. I think that would probably be good enough. The front line here will be fine. <laughs> this is about to get real expensive real quick. Let's see what we set up here on percentage levels. So good so far. No one's declared war. Uh, 
I don't know if they're just upset with us or if they're not really thinking what we're going to do yet at the moment. But that's fine. I'm not going to be upset either way. Okay, we're at 41.5% already. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Hmm. I think... Uhas might be our destination point. Now, the transit stations themselves only use 0.5%, so that's not too bad. We should try and grab our station upgrades wherever we can. Because it's always nice to have defensive stations. You know, and garrisons. Those do help. At least we're not dealing with world-ending groups of uh, combat fleets. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, that sets. That set. And hopefully with everything working, you know, when we select this fleet, all of our locations with our supply hubs light up. Which is perfect, because now we can immediately move to those locations. Two turns, we should find out where we're sitting finally for our total power consumption. Again, we want to try and say around 50 or 60%, because we still need that overhead for any sort of power generation we're going to be doing. Still need that income to make everybody happy. Which is going to be very, very important in the long run. Especially we want to keep a war economy going. And survey says... <laughs> 51% already! And we still got one more turn before we get our final numbers. And that's if we're where we need to be. Uh, and there's just a lot of transit stations that were built. We might be running her a little bit close. In the meantime, let's go ahead and see who wants to have a chat with us. Director, we've started incorporating true AIs into our ship systems. So you probably knew that. It was you who ordered it anyways. I hope the AIs are adequately isolated. We want them, you know, spilling over. Oh, no need to worry. We've prepared for all possible scenarios. And learned from the couple of incidents we've had before with lesser AIs. Oh, good. We've had incidents. No, no. Humanity has. You remember the Young Wolf 3 incident? Those automated Swedish mining ships that have been given simple AIs with limited decision-making abilities? And of course, they started to think, quite correctly, that the nearby satellites had plenty of rare minerals in them, and uh, proceeded to mine them. That's the reason why we want true AIs. They need to have the necessary information and capacity to make proper decisions, if we want them to make any at all. Well, that's fair, I guess. Very well. I trust you know what you're doing. Maybe. All right. So let's go ahead and have us look at the rest of our research trees. Hmm. Do we focus on upgrading our missiles? Hmm. I'm going to say sure. Why not? Never say no to sweet, sweet cruise missiles. All right, so the next thing we're going to focus on while we wait for things to turn over, we'll go ahead and check out our colonies. We have a whole lot of construction available. It's available in Bow. A whole lot of stuff is available in Bow, actually. We can set up some more strip mines. Let's set up a personal wellness center too. And maybe a fusion power plant. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. The FAO system? What do you got? You know? 
if we're going to run the Tofau as our main fleet hub, I'm going to demolish that Argus facility and I'm going to build an interceptor development center. That way we can actually focus on getting all the ships we need in one location. We get our cruisers and frigates, our artillery, increased repair rate whenever we need it, and our carriers. Oops, sorry about bumping the mic. We could probably focus the rest of this. Clearly not on any more tier three structures. We can't build any more of those. But we should be able to go ahead and build some more strip mines. Hmm. All right, let's end our turn. We have a lot of stuff we can do here in our systems. But what is our total power consumption going to be? Please do not exceed 60%. And yes, I know I still have more supply lines to build over this way. We'll have to go all the way to Uhast. All right, so at 54%, we are chewing through these advanced missiles. All right, so we should be able to grab these fleets and we can move them anywhere. Perfect. As long as it's all in line. One, two, three. Three more supply hubs. Which should net us right at 60.5. Fingers crossed. Move through the rest of these and see what we have for upgrades available. and build a civilian outpost just to up our power production. Black hole. Well, I don't think that would be a bad idea to have a black hole reactor here. And you have a tier two colony that is not being used. Well. Not really much to focus on here either. We could build, well, there's no bonuses to resources, but what we can do, certainly get a personal wellness facility up and running to keep our long-term and short-term happiness rolling. Civilian quarters. There is literally no bonus to this location. Let's get our four fusion power plants here. Because why not? We have a max of four. Let's get it. And we'll make this location strictly uh, strictly civilian. Let's see, what do you got? Oh, yes, you have this. Which serves no purpose, actually, to have a fleet system up here with Tier 3s. It really doesn't. We'll keep the fleet base because the bonus to... Ooh, actually, you know what? Fleet headquarters does the exact same thing, but better. Outside of the ability to set up flagships, but we don't have any need for that here. Set up a fleet headquarters. Hmm. No, 
know this is rare earth rich. I've already got one of these here. Not enough resources for the research institute. That's fine. Set up an FTP extractor. That's it for tier threes. Well, we might as well go ahead and get some power plants rolling then. Because a lot of this is going to be power hungry. Uh, personal wellness center. And maybe even an intelligence bureau just to increase our operatives. Which a lot of you guys did highlight that these are actually going to be very, very beneficial the next time we go to war. So maybe I should get a couple of those. You know, just in case. Just in case. And they have not declared war on us yet. Fingers crossed. As soon as we get the supply hubs up, what we should do is actually head on back and start allocating the fleets over here. Hmm, would that be a smart move? It will be a move. Artemis research, uh, missile research. Increases the damage of all flagships by 50%. Very nice. Um... Increases the fire rate of all artillery by 25. Ooh, and these missiles here are very nice. So, still one turn away for you, you, and you. Maybe 62% grand total. Potentially. As for our littler systems, let's have a look and see what we got. Uh, Taminin. We build for a civilian outpost, but there's nothing. No bonuses here. Mm. We can rebuild this one for a research outpost. What you... Nothing to build there. Meanwhile, back at the Black Hole... Oh, wow, we actually have a uh, tier two we can set up here as well. You just need a governor. Increased science. Anything for increased science? Mm, energy production. Why not? We'll get that upgraded for a fusion power plant. A cap on laboratories? There are not. There's really no other bonuses. Let's do a personal wellness center. Maybe one more fusion power plant. Let's stack labs here. We got a bonus, so why not? Our rogue planet way up to the north, the galactic north. We do have a habitable area here. Oh, Nelly! And rare earth. And boosts the science. Alright, let's get a... Industrial, get that set up. We're gonna need a governor. We get Vila set up. Get rid of all this stuff. The fusion power plant. Get our rare earth refineries. I don't believe there's any bonus to regular minerals. No, there is not. But that's okay. We have a personal wellness center. And we do have bonuses to science. One more fusion power plant and the rest of the laboratories. That should offset our power. Now, this is not active, so we'll go ahead and strip this out. Rebuild this and this outpost. Uh, we'll do civilian. Still an upgrade available at the black hole, eh? Right. Anything special? Not overly. Uh, 
Uh, decreased energy production, which sucks. But no minerals. So let's do a bonus to energy production. We'll keep the civilians there. The personal wellness center. Another fusion power plant and four labs. This system, way out the middle of nowhere, you need defensive stations. And one bare planet. Boost in minerals, so industrial outpost for you. Sora system. You're actually missing a structure and you have inactive buildings. The civilian, what are you? Science or minerals, let's do research. New frontline station. Oh my. We got some big plans for you. You are going to be 100% an industrial outpost. Rebuild you that way. What do we got for a governor? We can't destroy structures if we get uh, one of the locals in. You know, we get Boris in. Because I like Boris. Boris is cool. <laughs> and we got the end turn here. Still no movement on their part. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Well, we should cross over 60% total power usage. And we should see our supply drop from 1100 or 1200 where it's sitting right now to something significantly smaller. Soon as you know, get their turn done. We managed to offset that. Wow. All the other power plants we were building. Not bad. There's a lot of power plants to offset that. <laughs> like a lot of a lot. Okay, let's focus. Let's focus. Uh, rare earth and mineral extraction. We are certainly going to need you. Uh, maybe a personal wellness. Just because of the bonuses it gives us. May not be that bad of an idea, especially seeing how our short-term happiness is dropping. The more we build. Ocean world, no minerals. Science outpost, don't mind if I do. Jaher, what do you got? What are you missing? You're missing a whole tier two area yourself as well. Minerals and rare earth, 100%. Who's got bonuses? Mineral and energy production. Take it. Your fusion up. Your rare earth. Strip mines up. And we'll do one more power plant because you have bonus to energy anyways. Morgan. Black hole. Eh, nothing really important there. Let's do a civilian outpost. Varroa? Unstable magnetic field is keeping us from getting another, another tier 3. That's fine. Civilian outpost for you, because there's nothing really important there. The Roar. Way up to the galactic north. I don't think I'm going to have much for resources, but we'll have a quick look here. Oh yes, we have... Mm. New civilian outpost here. I'll have to rebuild the other two. Industrial for both. And this. Well, we're going to have to get this set up next turn. Because we have some resources. Resources. 
Over 7,000 base minerals a turn. That's uh, that's ridiculous. That's a lot of uh, that's a lot of income. I think if uh, the war kicks off here, I think we'd probably be in pretty good shape. No lie. Whenever the war kicks off, Noah seems to be thinking really hard about what they want to do. The best part is our galactic reputation is going up, but the longer we stay quiet and not kill everybody, which is good, I guess. I mean, probably not a bad idea. Potentially. Hmm. Let's get us. Let's grab that. Bonus to carriers and then actually gives our flagships interceptors. And if our flagships had interceptors, it just doubles our interceptors. Which is pretty crazy. Now, as far as you go. This is going to be 100% science. I'm going to rebuild everything. Any bonuses to science? Not really. Population growth and unit cost reduction. Here. Why did I delete that? I don't know. I wasn't thinking properly. Going to be a bonus to science? Well, you can get all the laboratories you can handle. How's our power? Still under... Just under two. Aqua? Yes, I think that's how you say that. We are missing some structures. Rare Earth, Industrial. And you can just be a civilian outpost. Unbuilt. Anaba, what do you got? There's one buildable structure here. Not really worth anything, so I'll just make you civilian. De jour. Weak magnetic field. Civilian. Rogue planet, what do you got? Potential for tier two. Science and rare earth. Potentially more science. Do that. Grab a brand new leader. Focusing on rare earths. I don't foresee a reason or a need for base minerals. Which is fine. We'll grab another Fusion power plant, do four labs here. Gyoka. Gyoka has natural beauty. Short term bonuses, you betcha. What was I missing? A whole lot of resources. That's all right. We'll hit end turn. And get that up and running here shortly. Kind of doing a fine balancing act. Maybe. We'll get this up and running and then we'll check on our, uh, sub or our substations or sub points and see if we can go from one side of the galaxy to the other. They still haven't declared war, which is kind of good. I don't know if that's just because I have all my fleets on the front line. Might be. But we will find out when we move things. Civilian for you. That's it. That's all we got. Our nemesis fleet. Move here. And then we'll have you go all the way back over here. Spend 300... How does this work? Does that come back at the end of the turn? I saw that drop. Looks like we have our energy hubs all the way all over the place here now. 
We're going to hit enter and see exactly what happens. Now, that might not have been very efficient of me, actually. Probably should have had uh, a couple of things under construction here, maybe adjusting some of the fleets. Let's see what happens. Anything? Okay, that does come back. It might have come back because we went ahead and built so many fusion power plants. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. All right. Our research tree is looking awful bare. Awful bare. Does reactive hull plating have a spot in our defenses? Eh. Not really. Because this is a pretty nice module to have. So here's what we're going to do. And we can tow defensive stations into battle with us. Pretty nice. We'll focus on that. Then. Go ahead and have us look here. What do we have? Oops. If this is going to be our main fleet hub. Might make a lick of sense here to maybe strip one of these out. Maybe build... Can't do fleet headquarters. But a fleet base will enable flagship construction, so we can do everything here. More specifically, we can switch out some more flagships. Get some Halsteins out. And the fact we can build carriers now, which is very nice. Get a couple of those rolling. How about we focus a little bit on what we can get set up? Yeah, ship command, that's that's very nice. We went from 300 and some to 500 and some for fleet power. Um, nano machine repair protocol sounds great. Uh, what are we? What is this one? This is mostly frigates. Kind of a mix. And, you know, we plan to switch out these uh, flagships for artillery ships. So why not? Do autonomous firing. That power jump. That power jump, that's, uh, that's nothing to sneeze at. Holy cow. I've already swapped this out with the AI ship command module, if it will let me. Hi. Can I please? I'm not short on resources. There we go. Wow, that jumped the power up real high. This is just a straight cruiser fleet, so... 857. With a straight cruiser fleet. Damn, son. That bonus helps, but... Wow! That is quite the power jump. Okay. I think we know exactly what we're going to be doing here very, very shortly. end the turn on this one so we can swap out all the uh, the flagships here. Next turn. If they don't want to trigger the war, we'll certainly be ready for it. That's all I'm going to say on that one. Uh, plus it gives us the ability to kind of get more operatives here too. I will have to probably buy them from here as soon as I get uh, these three ships out of orbit or these fleets out of orbit. Free up a position for him. All right. Survey says. This flagship is at 11. Uh, health 175. 
Yeah, there's no way to look at it. It is significantly better. The Halstein is significantly better than what they have right now. Oh my goodness, is it ever better? You have interceptor and cruiser damage. We're going to get rid of some of these frigates. One more carrier. Sure. We'll get your nanomachine protocol set up. We'll get rid of the damage reduction here and get the uh, nanomachine repair. Oh, that drops it down to 700. That's still fine. That's still, like, wildly overpowered. Plus, with the repair structures, you know, it's kind of important if we're going to be doing a prolonged, protracted war, especially with the size of our enemy. They're only half a galactic scale empire. Ugh. But maybe, just maybe we'll focus a little bit on that. Um, now as far as the rest of this, you know, shipyard would probably be beneficial. And a repair station. Why not? Why not? Now, as far as everyone else. Put you up in a queue. And we'll see if they'll move. Three there, ready to rock. The rest here. Actually, you're in a good position to be in this system when you need it. We'll leave you there for one turn. We'll leave you there for one turn. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. I'm looking at get, getting uh, our admirals capped out here as well, too. I know we're probably going to need at least two fleets over this gen general direction that can take care of themselves if things decide to get a little bit dicey. That's face fact. It's always going to get dicey. Like, how boring would that be if it didn't get dicey? This would be no fun at all. All right. Over 600 for all three. I will gladly take it. Where to deploy? One there. We'll bring you over here as well. And put you over to this position. No path available. Get out of here. Did you use all my movement points? Oh, but yeah, I did too. All right. No worries. Get that fleet brought on over for upgrades. And all those two are ready to move if need be. You could probably benefit from some upgrades as well. Let's move you back into the hub line. And you, sir. Well. I mean. Let's put you out to the Galactic East to get you ready for battle, shall we? Now, who needs what? You could probably use some new ships. All right, let's have a look at our fleets. Got frigate and artillery damage. Pull what we don't actually need or what we don't actually have bonuses for out of here. Uh, maybe get... Six and six. Why not? We'll get all this switched out. Hmm. That would actually be really nice. But I think the repair protocol still takes uh, takes point. 
We will swap this ship out. And we'll see exactly what happens afterwards. 534. <laughs> that goes up to 813. Holy cow. Okay, that's impressive. We'll get 863. And we'll switch this out for repair protocol. That drops it down to 700. Still absolutely amazing. Get a capital ship swapped out as well. Now you. You're free in artillery damage. Really no point in these cruisers. Let's focus a little bit on true AI. Thomas firing. And our repairs. E. I don't think Oh, what a decision. You know what? There we go. That's a little bit better. That's a little bit better on the power scale. All right, well, end the turn. Rotate these guys out as quickly as we possibly can, get them back on the front lines. And we'll see exactly what happens with the Inoa. Ooh, this war prep. This war prep, I tell you. Like, if they're not going to declare on war on us, we have to declare war on them. And if we declare war on them, that triggers the defensive alliance they have with the Toe. Which might be kind of what they're kind of going for. Potentially. All right, we'll get you in position over here. Have to split this group up a little bit. I was just going to say, I just changed out the flagship, but that's uh, that's the garrison fleet, so we're not going to focus on them. 717, let's put you into this location here. And you... Drop you right here for now. Next turn, I'll push you up. Who needs it? All three of you need it. Get in the system. Oh, ladder! We got our work. Cut. We got our work cut out for us here. We got the uh, Halsteins all in place. What do you got? Frigate and interceptor damage. Flagship damage bonus is going to be the one to focus on. Well. Get our AI command module in. We'll get our autonomous firing in. And we'll get a repair in. And I think we're going to do the exact same for the rest of this. Because yes, this is going to be artillery focus as well. You know, it's going to have to be... This fleet, that's going to be a little bit more. Strip out the cruisers. We got four artillery, four frigate. Uh, let's do four carriers. Now you, artillery and carriers. Now, the reason why some of these percentages are very small. Wow, really? We've got ballasts and signs. Okay, we got to strip this entire fleet out. The reason why his percentages are very small, uh, not leveled yet. So, good news, soldier. You're about to get all the experience you can ever stomach. Six of those. Six of those. 
we are slowly kind of uh, overwhelming our our facilities here, but that's okay. Kind of what we expected to happen. And end turn. We'll have to get the third fleet in the next turn. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know what? I'm not going to turn them down. If they want to let us sit here and run with this for a little while longer, that's fine. These fleets are getting upgraded. They are going to be top of the line. They are going to be devastating moving forward. I am here for it. This is going to be... I don't know if it's going to be fun. I don't think it's going to be quick. But she's going to be high stress. And you know what? I think that'd be fun enough. Year 509. Not the most powerful, but certainly powerful enough. I think we'll have to get you somewhere else. Remove you. Top sector? We'll get this fleet brought back down for upgrades and repairs. Well, no repairs, but upgrades. Upgrades! So this guy is just straight total unit damage. And flagship damage. No real bonus there. Your repairs in. Hmm. What do we have for the flagship? Increase the damage of all flagships by 50%. Well, I mean... Seems pretty... There's an even better Ares flagship upgrade. Let's slide that on in there. Increased base damage for everybody. We'll leave the fleet the way it is. Uh, but you... Wait, no, we won't. This is probably just going to be a, a home defense fleet, I'm thinking, just by looking at it. Not a very good admiral. Not very many bonuses. Uh, flat unit damage and frigate damage. Get your flagship upgraded. We will... Strip this out. Get that in there. You get our repair in. And then we'll do the frigate bonus for you. There was the frigate. Uh, uh, damage of all units. Yeah, a little bit better. It's fine. You, with not needing anything, you probably go ahead and bugger off that way. And as for these two, we'll end this turn here. No, not that. We'll end. Stop. We'll end this turn here. And then once these two fleets are ready, we'll kick them out of system and get our last two fleets up and running. Oh my goodness. We still have buildings in construction. That's wild. That is wild. But hey, you know what? We'll be ready to rock. Is it going to be... Yeah, I have no idea. We'll, uh, we'll just worry about that when we worry about that. This is going to be one more turn. You get one, one fleet ready. What do you got? Flagship damage. Artillery damage. Uh, cruiser damage. Area interceptors. 
artillery damage, which is kind of nice. Or we can do a straight brawler. Why not? Why not? Let's do a straight brawler. We'll swap him out with an artillery flagship. Now we're just going to set him up with... Where's the cruisers? Increase the damage of all cruisers by 25%. I think that is going to be the best option for this specific. Just because we're going to be greasy and do straight cruisers for this one. Oh, it feels so dirty. So dirty. You're ready to move up. We'll move you up here. So you're ready to go. Like this fleet here is going to have to solo this section by themselves, I think. If we swing down from this side. This is a lot of area to take. For just, just what we got. I'll either send one or two more fleets over to this side. Yes. Good. Good. Hmm. Waiting truly is the hardest part. But we should have... The ability to set up our final fleet here to this turn. A fleet there, we got a fleet there, we got a fleet there, we got a fleet there. Like, technically speaking, we're about ready to rock. Technically speaking. You will send on over here. That's 574. Set him over here, move the fleet right on down this way. Punch there. Punch there, punch there. Hmm. Move, both, move them both over sideways. So this is this is friendly. They're not gonna be They better be friendly. <laughs> yeah, that's right, you stay friendly. Yeah. Yeah, you stay out of this war. You know it's good for you. I don't think they do. We'll find out. All right, last fleet. What do we have available? Damage reduction and artillery bonuses. Do we have any carrier bonuses? Yes. Cruisers and carriers. I'm slightly curious what an all carrier fleet does. Well, it's not the best. That's artillery, artillery, artillery. Is it, are these all artillery? They are. Okay. No worries. I'm actually going to try a full carrier fleet and see what happens for power levels. Increase the damage, increase the repair rate. Let's look, focus on... Automated hangers. Yeah. I'm sure that'll be just fine. <laughs> oh, I got nothing researching. Oh, that's not good. And no need for reactive hull plating. We already have that. Reactor overdrives. Actually, that might be kind of important. We'll grab that one first. And then we're going to be going on to the last tree here, which is war crimes. Yes. Nothing but viral war crimes. That sounds awesome.
Awesome, awesome. <laughs> Let me just loosen my tie here real quick. It only sounds slightly dangerous, slightly worrying. It's the future. It's fine. It's all fine here. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Survey so says fleet is ready in two turns. Well, one fleet is ready. Where to go? Directly there. I'll set you guys up. You go there. You go there. The east is ready. Tis the west we wait upon. One more turn. Let's see what this fleet looks like. I don't think it would be at over a thousand. It is carriers. No support craft. With increased fighter builds. I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see how the game balances this out. We already see the uh, the cruiser fleets sitting in like 800, 900 fleet power. Good God. Uh, you're probably going to be around 600 fleet power. Three more carriers to go. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. All right. Well, the Inoa are not declaring war on us. So that sounds like we're going to have to declare war on them. And to be honest, I think it's probably not a bad idea because we need more tier three colonies in order to get more Argus facilities up. So. Thank you very much for coming on out for the prep episode. Next episode, uh, we're going to hit enter now just so this fleet is ready to rock. We're going to be... Uh, next episode, we're going directly to war. It's not even a question. Of, we got to hit the, you know, we got to hit them hard. Hopefully, we can throw them off balance. Stagger them a little bit. Kind of push them back. Maybe cut our great big old carve out of this side here. Probably going to wind up wiping the toe off the face of the map if they decide to hop into this fight. I really hope they don't, but uh, I really don't care if they do. At this point, at this point, it's steamrolling time. It is time to take our vast power. And do some dabbing. 579. We'll see how she fares in battle. Thank you, everybody, for swinging on by and checking out the episode of the Pegasus Expedition. I greatly appreciate the support. I hope you enjoyed your time here. If you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that like button. If you really like to support the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I know I greatly appreciate it. We've been seeing some amazing activity on the channel as of late, which leads me to believe I, I think everybody seems to be enjoying the series so far, and hopefully you are. Um, and yeah, we'll see you. Uh, well, we'll have to see what happens here. When the war kicks off in the next episode. Thanks for coming out, everybody. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Stay warm. And I'll see you next time.